Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA What's going on folks? Welcome to a brand new NCAA Football Miami Hurricane Dynasty video. Folks, we are in beautiful South Florida today for ACC Conference play as the Duke Blue Devils come to South Florida to do battle against the Miami Hurricane. This should be a great game. I'll meet you guys down on the field. about ready for kickoff. Now we just got word that the Miami coaching staff spent this week studying game film from Clemson and they've implemented new plays to try to get the most out of this dual threat quarterback they got in young Malik Rozier. Now you know Miami has a running attack out here that thrives and they trying to make it thrive even more. They've got the Heisman candidate Mark Walton who recently has not been having great games and they got this young talented kid here at quarterback. Now, of course, anytime you're talking about implementing new plays and running new playbooks, you want to do that against a team that you feel confident against. And Miami feels like regardless of what happens on the offensive side, they've got the defense to make sure they can get the win today. They better be right. Now, we just saw Miami come out and show some promise running the football. Later, that drive fizzled out. Miami had to punt it off, and Duke is on the field taking a strike. The first play for Duke is a little check down pass that goes 25 yards after the catch. This is the kind of stuff that the Miami defense is known to shut down. First and 10, they come out and take a shot downfield through the football in a sea of orange jerseys. Luckily, the quarterback Jones gets away with just a deflection on that play. Could have been so much worse. On third and long, they go to the screen play, so Duke is definitely coming out here with a safe passing attack, checking it down. They wanted to run it back to get him some yards after the play, and he did. Hold on, we get a studio update. We've got more ACC play. Georgia Tech and Virginia Tech and the number nine Yellow Jackets go down. This is the second or third year in a row that after losing to Miami, Georgia Tech just falls and the rest of their season just goes down here. We get back to the game after the Blue Devils was able to tack on three points in their first drive. Miami offense back on the field running the football, which is what this team wants to focus on. They feel like they're okay passing the football. They want to be one of the most dangerous running attacks in college football and that's why they implemented these new plays Malik Rozier looks good so far today they got a first and ten right here they go read option Rozier safely slides to the ground after an eight or nine yard pickup and that's gonna bring up a second and short of course they go right back with the read option Malik Rozier this time putting his head down and running right at the Duke defensive players he's gonna pick up 12 yards on that play one thing is for sure the new Clemson plays definitely make Malik Rozier look like a beast. Whether they're design run plays or plays like this where he extends the play with his legs, checks it to a receiver for more yardage, or even plays like this, third and goal, Malik rolls out, decides to keep it, gets into the end zone for Miami's first score of the day. Malik Rozier is going to thrive in this playbook. If Miami stays with these plays, this kid could get his name mentioned in Heisman Talk before the season's out. Duke offense back on the field. And Duke is actually looking pretty good. I, I, I have to give Duke credit. They look okay. Another first and 10. Empty gun. The pressure is coming. Jones stands in there, takes the hit, and delivers a strike to the receiver, Michael Mason. 14-yard pickup on the play. Second and nine for Jones. They doing a ton of passing out here, and they are actually having success passing the football against this speedy, talented, athletic Miami defense. Who would have called it? Who would have called it? No huddle offense right here for Duke. Still operating from the gun. Play action pass for Jones. He throws one right across the middle. They don't pick up very much yards on that play. But first and 10 later in that drive, they hand it off to the running back. He's going to pick up four the hard way. Straight up the middle. Third and five. They try to go back to Mason. He runs out of luck. He is tackled before he gains any yardage. And Duke, once again, has to settle for three. So Miami's defense is doing a great job of this bend but don't break philosophy that Manny Diaz pitches to these guys. Miami offense back on the field and now Malik Rose is going to try to beat him with his arm. Throws a strike down the center of the field. John Rice makes a tough catch. That's a 30 yard pickup. Miami looks good y'all. They look good. Now they still got some things they got to work out. 
This is a new playbook, first time ever ran. Of course, it's gonna be, you know, some kinks in the armor. Third and seven, man, they go screenplay, and you just throw the ball to Mark Walton, allow this talented guy to make plays. That's exactly what he does right here. Picks up the first and 10. Miami comes back later in that drive, and you get more Malik Rozier. Malik is looking great in this offense. I'm ticked off that I'm just now finding out about this playbook. First and 10, look at this. This time we got Jarvis Williams in the backfield. Jarvis is ducking and dodging and breaking tackles to the tune of a seven-yard pickup. Miami's in the red zone, threatening the score. Third and goal, Malik Rozier drops back to pass, throws a strike to the corner of the end zone, picked off by the defensive back McDuffie. That was an amazing interception. You get another look at it, man. I'm not even sure. I don't even feel like Rozier threw it to a bad spot. That's just a hell of a play. Disappointing to see this offense get all the way down the field and lead with no points, but hey, I mean, he's a young guy. He's got to learn this way. 7-6 is the score. Duke offense on the field looking to still try to do work. And I don't know, man. The Miami defense definitely seemed like they keying in on some of the things that Duke wants to do out here. Second and eight, we got a tight end in motion. Jones dropping back to pass. He's got time in the pocket, taking a strike across the middle to the tight end. That's going to be an 11-yard pickup for first down. Duke comes back. They think they got something with this tight end. They move him in motion again. First and 10, this time they check it down to the receiver, Trevon Lee. Six-yard pickup. Look at how Duke is moving this football down the field, yo. This is crazy. And just when they lull you to sleep with the check downs and check downs, they go deep for a big-time pickup. And now they operate from the red zone. Now let's see if this offense can punch it in. It is tougher to get in the end zone on this shortened field. Third and short for Duke. Operating from the gun again. Jones standing in there to the very last minute, taking a big shot as he released that one. He was smart enough and aware enough to just throw it out of bounds. To live to fight another day, Duke settles for another field goal. Nine to seven. And we got a weird looking score out here. It's less than a minute to go before the half. Miami is known to come out and try to strike in these situations. John Rice with a really good return. We got some laundry on the field. That great return is going to be negated by a flag against the Miami kick return squad that's clipping they back him up 10 yards 54 seconds on the clock Malik Rozier comes out throws a strike down the middle of the field to John Rice that's a 30 yard reception first and 10 Miami is going no huddle you don't see a lot of no huddle from this Miami squad but they definitely like to strike at the end of the half it's something we've seen all season first and 10 for these guys Malik takes the snap drops back Goes back to his new favorite target, John Rice. That's another big pickup. Only about 12 or 13 on the play. And the second and six later in that drive, Malik rolls out. Look what the guy can do with his feet. Extends the play by rolling out the pocket. Throws a strike. And this guy, Josh Horn, we've heard so much about. This guy is so talented. Plays quarterback. Plays receiver. Plays DB. Malik Rozier rolls out. Calls his number. And they put too much pressure on the young guy. After speaking on how good he is. He just dropped the easiest pass of the game. Second and 10, Malik rolls out, this time not looking to pass. Got it tucked. He gets some inside the five-yard line on a 19-yard scamper. This playbook, I'm telling you, this kid is going to be something special. Rolls out the pocket, instantly saw all the green, and took off. Very decisive move. First and 10. It's 20 seconds on the clock still. They hand it off to Mark Walton. He's got a hole big enough to drive a truck through. He's in the end zone for Miami's second score today. 14-9 is your score. We end the first half of football with a game that's closer than anybody anticipated it would be. 14-9, you can look and see it's uh, almost 100 yards difference between the two offenses. It's just that Miami's gotten into the red zone and turned the ball over. Third quarter, that's a hell of a way to come out of you to Miami defense. Duke comes out, throws a pass in a crowd of orange jerseys again, and this time they don't get lucky enough to walk away with just a deflection. The cornerback Ryan Mays, who has been phenomenal this year, one of the reasons that Mays has looked so good this year is because opposing offenses are afraid to go at Sheldrick Redwine. They keep picking on Ryan Mays, and he has proven he is not the guy to pick on. Huge play. Malik Rozier comes out in the gun, checks it down to Jarvis Williams. That's a four-yard pickup. Later in that drive, it is third and six. Look what Malik Rozier can do. Rolls out, checks everything, keeps it, gave somebody a move, hit somebody else with a juke move, and 22 yards later, this kid is inside the five-yard line. He's closing in on 100 yards rushing. Miami goes with the bubble screen right here. Get a two-yard pickup that's going to put him in a fourth and goal. You know Mark Rick is not kicking the field goal. 
However, this Clemson offense doesn't have a true goal line. That's called a goal line. But we were expecting to see more guys on the line of scrimmage. It did not work. Miami turns the ball over inside the three-yard line. No points on that possession. That's another situation where Miami gets all the way down the field and don't get any points to show for it. Duke, backed up to their own end zone, comes out fighting. Running the football hard and moving the football, getting yards. Third and short, the quarterback Jones is going to keep it. He ain't even fast, but this dude just caught him off guard with a 14-yard pickup on something that looks like an off-speed pitch. The guy was slow. Never saw it coming. Second and 10, that's a big-time hit right there. The linebacker Demetrius Jackson destroys this wide receiver, but he holds on to the football. He understands. Big-time hit. No huddle offense for Duke. It's going to be third and short. I really expect these guys to go with a check down pass, maybe a screen. Jones with time in the pocket. He actually had a receiver open across the middle of the field. And again, look at Duke put together a drive that is catching everybody in this stadium off guard. First and 10. Throws it up a little too high to free safety. Willie Irvin gets over there to make sure that that pass is not a reception. Third and 10 for Duke. They got to make something happen. Here's the screenplay that we expected earlier. They will go to that screen when they need a play. They only get three yards on it. They're going to be back in field goal range. Let's see what they can do. Long field goal. The kick is up. He had the distance on it. It's wide right. Duke misses the field goal. I'm not sure if the guy didn't get the hold down in time or what, but the leg was there. Just couldn't get it aimed up right. Miami dodges a bullet there. They definitely got to get points here. First and 10 for Miami. Look at Duke in the backfield, blowing up the read option, slamming Rosier to the turf two yards in the backfield. Third down later in that drive, Malik drops back the pass, throws a quick pass that's almost intercepted. This Duke defense has to be feeling good. They are really containing this Miami offense. This is crazy. Duke offense back on the field. Jones standing in there, throwing a pass to his receiver, Lee, who picks up about eight or nine yards on the play before being pushed out of bounds. On second down, Duke tries to go speed option. The Miami defense isn't having that. Now, they just came from Georgia Tech. They just came from the best option running team in college football. And if they didn't have any success with it, Demetrius Jackson ain't playing no games today. Another D cleater right there on the catch. Now, you guys can see right here, Duke punts it off. Miami offense only 29 yards in the second half. They got to make something happen. They got to. And, of course, that means dial up number 12, Malik Rozier, and let him go crazy out here. Malik picks up yards on his run play. They go back and hand it off to Mark Walton for a tough six straight up the gut. First and 10 later in that drive. These are plays that this Miami team is not accustomed to running, but man, Malik Rozier looks like he is loving this playbook. He's definitely benefited. I can't look at the scoreboard and say that the Miami offense benefited from it, but Malik has. That pass right there was way behind tight end David Njoku, who had to make an acrobat catch just to pull it in. Miami's going to have to settle for three, and maybe they should have done that on some of these other possessions. You want to get seven, but if you just get the three points here and there, this game doesn't look nearly as close. We're here in the fourth quarter, though. The Miami defense still hasn't given up a touchdown. Only three field goals. So the offense is really who kind of let us down so far this game. We've got a pill on the turf. We've got linebacker Demetrius Jackson, who's already got his name called for tattoo and a couple of receivers in this game. With the scoop and score, the Miami crowd goes wild. Demetrius Jackson in the end zone for his first score of the season. It's only one problem on that play. We're going to have to... We're going to have to get a booth review. We got to review this to see if the runner was down. Of course, the runner feels like he was down. We get another look at that play, and it's pretty apparent this guy is on the ground. That play will be overturned. Let's get back down there and see what we got. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Third and five. Jones dropping back. Here's that screenplay they like so much. We've got guys over there. That's a tough tackle by the cornerback, Ryan Mays. Ryan Mays has played exceptional today. Not only does he have a big-time interception, the deflection early in the game, and that is a first down stopping tackle. They come right back and go for it on fourth down, of course. And Demetrius Jackson again right there with the D cleater. Demetrius is trying to hurt somebody, okay? He's trying to hurt somebody. Ryan Mays is playing so good. For the first time today, we see Duke attack Sheldrick Redwine. Nobody does that. They're throwing at Sheldrick. On third and 10, they go screen again. At this point, Miami was expecting it. They had someone right there. They get nothing. Fourth and forever, they finally decide they're going to punt it off. The Miami offense back on the field. It's two minutes and some change. Well, just under three minutes. 
pretty sure Miami's gonna eat clock. They're gonna run the football. They're gonna get out of here with the dub. Look at Mark Walton with the fancy moves right here. Miami, they really took a chance. Coming out here trying a new playbook against this team. Not trying to take Duke lightly. Oh my God, look at Malik Rozier. Look at Malik, he gets a block. Oh, it looked like Malik had the sideline. I thought he was taking that one to the house. That's another 22 yard game for Malik. This could be his breaking out game. Like he didn't have a great passing day, but my goodness, he still got the yardage. He's up around 300 yards of total offense for himself, not the Miami offense for him. Mark Walton would find his way into the end zone again on this drive alone, seven carries for 24 yards. We're gonna go ahead and draw the curtains on Duke. I know this game doesn't look great on the scoreboard, but trust me, this one was about learning some plays, just trying to give us some versatility. Mark Walton is gonna snag play of the game for his two touchdown runs, but don't for a second think that Malik Rozier wasn't the true player of the game. Malik had a crazy game against Duke. I don't know if Miami's gonna stay with this new playbook. Malik probably wants them to, but this game right here was definitely just a glimpse into what could be with some other playbooks. But anyway, folks, that is all I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. This is definitely our year, y'all. And that's all I got for today. I'll catch you on the next one, all right? Peace. Mm-hmm.